Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, guys, I would like to talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you guys are not aware yet, there was two huge announcements over the past few days. One of them is that there's not going to be any supply drops available for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I know, right? Celebration about the goddamn time. The second thing they will be announcing is that the Battle Pass will be available for Call of Duty Modern Warfare instead. They're going to try to change everything, the way you earn things in the game, which is kind of, you know, ridiculous. I think they should just go back to Call of Duty Ghost or Call of Duty Black Ops 2, where you just earn everything, you know, through the freaking game. But whatever. Um, today, I will be talking about mostly about the supply drops, because I think this is one that's really important, especially since there were laws against this whole thing. So, uh, the Battle Pass thing i'll talk about it in the next video so you guys can like kind of be informed about this whole situation so the supply drops guys is finally being removed from call of duty modern warfare which is crazy but i think it's still a freaking lie over the past few years i think call of duty has been lying to us like every single year uh one of the things they did that was huge was that uh supposedly there wasn't gonna be any guns in the supply drops and guess what happened in call of duty black ops 4 and in call of duty black ops 3 i'm not sure which one it happened but in one of these games they promised there weren't going to be any uh dlc weapons in the supply drops and look what happened they are still in the freaking supply drops so um that was one huge lie another lie they told us like a long time ago was the final stand no i mean stand. it was still in the freaking game instead of last stand it became final stand Fuck you, last I mean, ever since that day, I was like, man, is Call of Duty really going to lie to us to our faces like that? So ever since then, I haven't been trusting Call of Duty, especially with the season passes and the DLC weapons. There's always got to be a freaking catch. So uh, this supply drop thing, I don't think it's going to go away forever. I think this is just a method to calm down the fans and make them pre-order as much as possible right now. Like I said in the previous video, initial sales matter to Activision and also uh, the developers for call of duty modern warfare the more initial sales they got the more successful the game is they don't care about the long run it's mostly about initial sales so this is one good pr move for them and i think it's it's working everybody's talking about it like oh rejoice rejoice you know call of duty modern warfare is doing this so let's now buy the freaking game and pre-order at full price to be honest guys you guys shouldn't be pre-ordering at full price to begin with there's just another video that i'll probably be talking about later on but like uh the supply drops is a total freaking lie a long time ago in call of duty advanced warfare um they said the supply drops will always be free and guess what some of the esports players wanted to buy supply drops and uh around january of that year when call of duty advanced warfare released they started selling supply drops in call of duty black ops 3 i remember that the supply drops were easily obtainable and then later on around january of during the call of duty black ops 3 game they actually nerfed the amount of crypto keys you earn after a match i was earning like around six to nine crypto keys per game and then after a while like around january when they nerfed the amount of crypto keys you earned that's the time when they started adding weapons into the, into the supply drops and it became harder to earn crypto keys because now you were earning like a max three to four so that's the time when they started to lie about it. Like, oh, you know, they made it more difficult to earn supply jobs because everybody was earning everything for free. So um, I'm thinking, like, this is just going to be a just a stunt. It's a lie. It's a total lie. They're going to return the supply jobs back, like, around January, like they always do. They have, like, a play on words that you haven't noticed. They say, we're not going to have supply jobs this year, right? What they mean is that they're not going to have supply jobs in 2019, so they're going to return it back in 2020. Just watch. Just watch. I have a bet on this, dude. There's going to be supply drops no matter what. They may say it now, but later on, when the game starts dying, that's when they start adding to supply drops. Because I know this game is just going to have a three-month span. A three-month lifespan. And it's going to die a little bit. And then when it starts dying a little bit, that's when they start adding supply drops to like make some extra cash on the side. And just watch, man. It's going to happen. Because I know this Battle Pass thing is going to be like a total grind fest. So people want to earn things a lot faster and buy it more directly. They're going to start adding the supply drops. When the complaints start running in, when players start complaining about earning things, that's the day when the supply drops return. And I'm giving it up to January 2020. So, um, I know Call of Duty. They lie all the freaking time. And I know people have hopes and all that stuff that Call of Duty will change. Like, even I have hopes. 
but I I see through Activision like they're lying in this one. Just it's just to get the initial sales up and uh, impress their stockholders, and it's a total lie. I'm sorry to be such a negative guy in this video. It's just that it's the truth, man. Sometimes the dirty work has to be explained, and it has to be explained by someone who's trying to be positive. But like it's true, Call of Duty is lying to us. Do not get your hopes up. It's gonna happen. So um, yeah, supply jobs is the root of all evil in this whole gaming industry, but it's 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 the truth, man. Um, so, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and my opinion about this whole situation. Uh, supply jobs will be returning no matter what. If it doesn't return, then we pretty much beat Activision up their ass, and you know they got one up the gut. So um, it was a good move by all the gamers, you know, giving them giving them negative feedback about this whole situation. I mean, there was laws against this whole thing, so I can't believe they were trying to bring it back, and now they come out and say, like, oh, we're not bringing it back. Like, it's good, man. It's a win for us. It's a small step to mankind, but at the end, we gotta win the war. Not just one war. I mean, not just one little battle. We gotta win the whole war. So, that is it, guys. That's all I gotta talk about. Tell me your opinion in the comment section, and I'll read it later. So, subscribe for more if you guys wanna see more Call of Duty content.